Hello, my name is Travis Ferguson, and today we're going to talk about module number nine, rigging and hoisting from TCI's Tree Care Academy, Crane Operations Specialist. So in rigging and hoisting, which is our last section, we're going to talk about the rules of rigging, we're going to talk about attaching the load, critical angles, and we're going to talk about bridles and the black magic that is bridle slings. So there's some rules to rigging. One of the rules is we have to know our known factors. Our known factors are our crane capacity, the load that we're picking, our sling capacity, be it in a choker configuration or a single angle, our soil PSI, what we're displacing to the ground, those are all known factors. The one thing that's never a known factor is our center of gravity. So when we attach a piece with a single sling, finding the point where this is gonna hang perfectly level, cable up here, is difficult. Our pieces are not uniform. We're not picking up iron. We're not picking up concrete blocks. Our tree parts, very much like this metal hook here, are weighted differently. So our center of gravity changes. So finding the center of gravity with a single sling can be very difficult and take a lot of time and practice to figure out. That's why I highly recommend for a lot of new operators using two slings on all picks. Even on a stem pick doing the secret handshake, you find more center of gravity, more stability that way by trying to do versus doing one pick, trying to do a balance pick that has the potential to slide and move. This image here shows when you're attaching the load, your load's always gonna swing to the uphill side of the sling. So in this configuration here, the sling's on the uphill side, the butt is always going to gravitate to that side. If we were to rotate this around, it's gonna do the opposite. The butt's gonna sling this way. I'm sorry, this way. Our piece is always going to want to plane itself into this configuration. So make sure when you attach your slings, if you're making a cut on the bottom of the tree, you don't want to be standing on this side where the sling attachment's at because this piece is going to want to push that direction. If you do the secret handshake, where you come at it from this side, you're being picked uniformly from the middle, the piece is going to lift up nice and straight. So something to look at when you're rigging the piece, look at the canopy, look at the structure, figure out where your slings can be attached to find that center of gravity. We're always trying to find center of gravity. <clears throat> we got to look at sling angles. We have to remember the effects of sling angles. We talked about the 90 degrees, 60 degrees, 45s, and 30s. When our slings start changing angles, the sling capacity changes. So in a vertical configure or a straight 90 degree angle, there's going to be a different capacity than if we had two slings operating at more of like a 45 degree angle. Our capacities are different. So we have to make sure we understand that. Again, the easy way to figure out that capacity for every pick is doing your height, divide the height from your load to your hook, divided by the length of the sling times the choker capacity, which is because we're operating in a choker configuration. It's an easy way to figure out real quick what your capacities are going to be. Lastly, we're going to talk about bridles. This I've built here is a form of a bridle. A bridle is one central attachment point to multiple legs of a sling. This would be called a four-leg bridle. Right. There's most common are four-leg and three-leg bridles. The interesting thing about bridles is in dealing with capacities. When we hang our bridle off our crane, we have four independent legs here. When we attach these four independent legs, we're not gaining capacity any. Our four slings have the exact same rate of capacity as that of three slings due to the triangle principle of physics. Can I get you to stand so behind even, that real quick? Can you yep. stand behind it? Because your, your shirt's black, and there we go. We can see the slings a lot better. So when you have these four slings on here, you're only ever holding all the weight on three of them. No matter how balanced this piece is, only three slings are catching the full brunt of the load. So therefore, even if you have four slings and each sling's rated for say 2,000 pounds, your total configuration is not good for 8,000. It's only good for 6,000 because your capacity is only good for the same weight of three legs with the fourth leg of a bridle. The fourth leg is purely there to give stability and to limit movement. So it's one of the random things that come along with crane work. Um, it's one thing that operators know that a lot of time our ground workers and our climbers don't realize. But by adding in that fourth leg, we don't gain capacity, we just gain stability. 
So make sure you're not overloading your slings just because you have four on there does not give you more capacity. It only gives you more stability. And that's it, folks. That is it for the TCI Tree Care Academy Crane Operation Specialist. Again, if you have this book in the very back, there's a take-home quiz. All the answers for the quiz are in the book. And then there's also a, comp a competency check sheet that your employer can check off for whatever position you hold within your company. And you can go ahead and get your Crane Operation Specialist certificate from TCIA. Thank you for tuning in for this module. Hopefully you got a lot of information out of it and can utilize this information to help you complete the Tree Care Academy Crane Operation Specialist book.